So the posterior uh, compartment of the leg has a superficial and deep layer. I'm going to be seeing, discussing the superficial layer in this video. So in this uh, compartment, there is another group called the triceps serrae. The triceps serrae is composed of the gastrocnemius and soleus. It's called triceps because the gastrocnemius actually has two heads. And so two heads plus the soleus makes up three. All right, we're going to talk about its origin, insertion, action, and innervation. Let's get started with the gastrocnemius. Let's first look at where the gastrocnemius is located. So here's a cut view of the gastrocnemius muscle. And on this part that is being highlighted, it's going to be the origin. And that origin is also known as the, well, there's, there are two because there are two, the medial head and the lateral head. But they're going to be located at the medial and lateral condyle of femur. That is its origin. Its insertion is going to be at the um, calcaneal tendon, or also known as the Achilles tendon. And its action is going to be flexion of the leg, as well as plantar flexion of the foot. Its innervation is going to be um, done by the tibial nerve. The next muscle that we're going to be look at is going to be this, the plantaris muscle. The plantaris muscle is going to be located right here. We see that it's going to have a cross looking portion where it's going to originate at the lateral supracondylar uh, ridge of the femur right around here. Let me show you where that's going to be located. And it's going to have an insertion at the calcaneal, again, Achilles tendon. Its action is going to be the same as the gastrocnemius, which is plantar flexion of the foot and flexion of the leg. And it's going to have the same innervation as well, which is going to be innervated by the um, tibial nerve. Lastly, we have the soleus muscle. The soleus muscle is the one that is behind the gastrocnemius, which is clearly seen in this image. This origin is going to be at the soleal line, which is hidden in this, in this image, um, the soleal line of the tibia. And it's going to have the insertion, as, same as the other ones, at the calcaneal Achilles tendon. And its action is going to be plantar flexion of the foot. They're going to share, all of these muscles are going to be sharing the same innervation by the tibial nerve.